Hello, this is Mo, your amateur urban gardener from Houston, Texas. I haven't done a garden tour for a while, and this is uh, September 2012. Uh, one of my first tours. This is this is the view looking out my um, windows from my house. When I wake up, I walk by this little hallway, and I look out these windows, and this is what I see of the garden. And um, this is the plan that I first had first made designed to show my husband uh, so that I could get approved I need husband approval for uh, building the garden so I drew this plan an overview of what the garden I had in mind for garden and it really has turned out quite a bit like that since then I scanned a better drawing into the computer and colored it and you can see this big area over on the right where there's no boxes or anything. I really haven't decided what to do with that yet, and I'm not real anxious to uh, go ahead and work on it. I kind of want to think about it a lot before I finish up the garden. So this right here where I'm standing is the herbs. It's like a little perennial herb garden. Of course, the bay, that's uh, oregano, Greek, and then Cuban oregano. <clears throat> rosemary, thyme. I'm going to try to do this a little slower. Basil. Basil is really not a perennial. It, it reseeds itself each year and more rosemary. And that's an upside down heart rocks of Texas. So as I go out into the garden, that square piece that was supposed to be all flowers, and right here on the side, this is my little seed starting spot. You can see. Let me walk around to the front. I'm going to try not to shake so much. I noticed some of my other videos are very shaky. So these are my seeds. So this is, I said, September, right? So I have lettuce on the top, which isn't growing that well. But right here is a kale. I have three different kinds of kale. Russian, red Russian, uh, blue curly, and um, Italian. And so I love kale. And the kale didn't do that well this summer. Most of it you know, it wasn't, I still have some growing. You can see here's kale. There's kale right there from uh, last year. It was been growing all summer. And I keep picking the outside leaves off of it. There's more kale. That's the Italian kale. But, and I have it growing different places in the garden. There's another one right there. I kind of have it here and there. I tried to, I try to plant things different places around the garden to see where it grows best. Okra, yes. That is burgundy and red velvet okra in these two beds right here. Uh, right now I have okra and peppers growing everywhere. I've changed up a little bit and I still have some bed, uh, basil growing in the beds, but most of the basil I have put in these big pots. Half, they look like half barrels. They're uh, plastic. I drill holes in them, put styrofoam in the bottom, soil, and then the basil on top. The basil, the bees love basil, so I have been trying to figure out a way to put basil all around the garden but not have it like totally take over a bed so this seems to be a good solution I'll let you know how it works that right there is lemon basil has a tr delicious smell this is Thai basil <clears throat> and I've done more rock work uh, I have underneath these stones there's a little trench and there's a French drain which means it's you know filled up with rocks I put like a cloth in there this black cloth there's then rocks, and then put a little cloth on top of it. Uh, oh, excuse me. And there's a soaker hose in the in the trench as well. So I have soaker hoses going all around the house so that when it gets really hot, uh, we can uh, water the foundation so that we don't have foundation problems. Peppermint, lemon basil, and this is chamomile. I sure hope that grows. I love chamomile tea. I trimmed back the rosemary a whole bunch. It was huge, hanging over the edges of the bed, but I trimmed it back. And here we have more okra. And maybe I should do a little pan view of this centerpiece because there's just so much okra and peppers in the middle here. So this is my little square. And then I do have some flowering plants, but mostly I have uh, okra and peppers in this square. A lot of okra and peppers. And I also planted some small tomato plants that I had grown from seed. See, this is all okra. And there's a really tall okra in the back there. 
But you can see these pepper plants have really, I mean, lots and lots of peppers. Can you see that? Let's see. Here we go. See, I mean, just, there's just loads and loads of peppers. I'm certainly not going to be uh, short on peppers. And I do cut some up and freeze them. And let's see, and I have, this is about the size of the tomato plants right now. They're not that big right there. Okay, and I do have my... Uh, you know, my flowering plants. There you go. I don't know what those are called, but I like those. And I like these portulaca. And I don't know the name of that either, but that's a pretty red flower. And this is Esperanza. I like that a lot. Now right here I also, ooh, gee, we had a pretty hard wind blowing. That basil's tipped over. I hope it's not broken. I also am going to put right here uh four to six pots of basil. I'm kind of changing the garden up a little bit. And I had a different ro rock and paver stone organization here, but what I've decided was I leveled it and I made it real even because I found it was very hard to get the lawnmower out the back gate there. It was all bumpy and lumpy and now it just drives out real smooth because I have to mow behind this fence. There's a ditch and um, if I don't mow we get lots of weeds and lots of bugs. So let me move on through. You can see I trimmed the spearmint on either side of this walkway. There's spearmint. And I've trimmed it down already. And over here where there used to be those strawberry boxes, it got a mold and I had to take the whole thing out. So that did not work if you had seen that previous video. And over here the uh, grapevines. This is another experiment. I should probably walk from one end to the other. I'm kind of going all over the place here. But this is, uh, I'm, I've taken the grapevines and I've put them under soil and put a rock on top of them. See the grapevine from the original plant down. I like the grapes. They're green seedless. And so I'm hoping to root some of those vines. We'll see if that works. Bougainvilleas is growing good. I, um, the back fence is, I finished painting that. And that was quite a project and you can see back here I've changed this a little bit this is uh, right now in this square is growing a Meyer lemon tree which I hope this one I hope that's a good place for it I've moved that around a bit and it seems to be growing best here there's oregano in the squares there's two eggplants you can see right here is the eggplant I think they grow in fall as well as spring two eggplants and then small tomato plants, one on each end. We'll see how that does. Uh, over here, another pepper plant. This is long sweet peppers. Just ornamentals, Esperanza and Mexican Heather right here in this box. This crazy plant is a uh, personal size watermelon plant. I think it got planted way too late in the year. It has a lot of little watermelons on it, but I don't know if it'll have enough time to uh, actually come to fruit. This compost pit, not too long ago, was totally filled. Well, I have sifted all of that compost, and it's all in the beds in the yard. And now I'm going to paint the inside of this one, like I did the other one, and put some plastic in there so that the uh, it'll last longer. And then once this compost pit over here gets filled up with stuff, that's where we bury all our vegetable trash. Once this has been... Um, you know, filled up, then I'll start using this one over here again. And in the corner we have that, there's a little um, mandarin orange plant that I bought. And it's very small, so I planted in there also. There's pepper plants, you can see hot pepper. There's a little hot chili peppers, which I hang and dry and then later on grind into, um, you know, pepper, uh, pepper to use in a shaker. And there's marjoram under there, and I also planted a few uh, beets, which are just starting to come up. I love beet greens. And those rocks are all rocks that are eventually going to be in the yard somewhere. And there's another basil pot. And you can see my little uh, starter boxes over here. The back ones here. Let me get up close. Okay, these back ones here have uh, small kale growing. 
I mean, I really love kale. I could have a whole garden full of just kale. And I have some strawberry plants planted in the back row there that came from uh, the box around the uh, plum tree. And uh, hopefully they'll grow back. I planted some of the strawberry plants over here in those small squares, hoping that they'll come back. There's even some strawberry plants planted right here. And these ones are definitely coming back. They're looking good. So I really don't know. I love strawberries, but i got to figure a way to cascade them so that um, when they send out shooters, you know, the, the uh, I can use those new plants. And see, here's the basil. So the idea was, in the yard, you can see back there, you see there's a basil pot down at the back, and then there's a basil pot here. So on where the rocks are around the house and around the garage and stuff, I have little paver stones to walk. And then on the last, the, the two end pieces, there's three paper stones put together so that I can put a pot on top. And those will just be the places for the basil to grow. And that way, you know, I was trying to figure out a way to get the bees to go all around the uh, yard. Here's another angle. It's a pretty angle if I can get it. Let's see. See? And there's the... You can see the square. See, it's quite pretty. The square and then, you know, back towards the house. It's really, it's, when I think about it, it's been a three-year project so far. See all the boxes. My husband built the boxes, and a friend of mine named Caleb helped my husband build the boxes, too, and I helped him with some of them, but that was quite a project. And here, in this bed, we, I have okra, and there's small tomato plants growing. There's a lot of lettuce and kale growing in the front on the bottom, and cucumber plants. I think it was called Market Moor or something like that. They're a fall cucumber. And these are this is a jalapeno bush right here. We already just picked a lot of the jalapenos off of it. And this bed, the plants aren't doing as well, so I'm thinking once these plants kind of reach their end, I'm going to not put any plants in here and really uh, try to amend the bed. I think something's not right with it. Maybe there's nematodes in it or something. I don't know because the plants don't grow very well in this particular bed. And so I'm going to take care of that. And then this is, look at this okra. Oh my goodness. Almost as tall as the garage. So and this year I planted a number of different kinds of okra. <clears throat> and here's some of the lettuce that was planted a little earlier, about a month ago I guess. So that's a month old lettuce plant. There's a lot of little ones that are going to need to be separated out, but you know, that's what happens. Once they get a little bigger and it's a cool day or a cool night, I'll separate them out and they'll be just fine. So on the okra, I have, my husband and I have, um, back there that's purple African blue basil, which is said it can't be grown from seed, so I keep taking cuttings and making new plants with it. And there's another, see there's another basil with the Anyway, I, I like it. I like the way the thing is, the garden is organized now. And you can see these are uh, small lettuce plants in the front, and some lemon basil, and Thai basil, and those are older kale plants. And there's the little baby kale plants, and I'll have to spread them out a little bit with a tomato plant, <clears throat> okra, and peppers mixed in together. Anyway, more kale back there on that back plant. See? Kale, kale, kale. And here, here's a nice picture of a... Okra is really quite beautiful. So this red okra, this is called burgundy okra. Anyway, I have burgundy okra, and then... Oh, let me show you this. These, see these large seed pods, right? Well, pods. See, we're letting these... That's a large, very, very large okra. We're letting these okra grow large. There's another one. So that we, uh, we let them grow large cut them, hang them upside down, let them dry, and that's seed for the next year. So we have um, clementine spineless, we have a, an organic, we bought seeds from Whole Foods, we have uh, r uh, burgundy okra and uh, red velvet okra, which we got from uh, Burpee, we ordered online. So anyway, there's, you know, it's, it's growing, it's beautiful, and um, that's all from your amateur urban gardener from Houston, Texas. Happy gardening!